guys, we're back today. I have another full day of eating, and today we are back in Bali in my happy place. And I'm going to be taking you through everything that I'm eating on a day to day basis here in Bali. I'm eating six meals a day, two and a half thousand calories to get shredded. So let's get into it. So guys, meal one is in and as you can see, we have an egg white omelette. So we've got two whole eggs, we've got three egg whites, which equate to be about 110 grams of egg whites. We've got mushroom, spinach, onion, and garlic, and then we've got some low cow ketchup as well. Now guys, this is only gonna be part one of meal one because I'm gonna do a part two of meal one, which is gonna be a protein frappe, which I'm keen to take you guys through because it is absolutely phenomenal. Eat this one now, and I'm gonna take you through part two of meal number one. Part two of meal one is gonna be a protein frappe. Now, if you don't know what a frappe is, get to know. It is a frozen blended coffee. Usually you get these from like Starbucks and shit with ice cream and all that sort of stuff. And they are extremely high calorie. And I said to Keanu the other day, I was like, I really want one of those, but I don't want the calories. So I learned how to make one. And this is gonna be my own recipe. It's fucking phenomenal. So buckle up. Make this one, we're gonna use a whole tray of ice. But this is something that is probably like my, one of my favorite parts of the day at the moment. We've even gone out and bought some big glasses for it to make it that much better. So that's 290 grams of ice. We're gonna have a scoop of whey protein. So I've got EHP Labs Oxy Whey. But I've got the vanilla ice cream flavor. So that's how I get it tasting like actual frappe vanilla ice cream for frozen banana or half a banana. If you've got them frozen, it's gonna be better one teaspoon of instant coffee. Another one I've got is Nescafe Gold. It is delicious. I know there's probably a lot of coffee snobs out there that are like, we're not having instant coffee, but trust me, it makes this phenomenal. And then we're gonna add 150 milliliters of water. Blend them up and you've got your frappe. This is part two of meal number one. And like I said, it is a protein frappe. Now this is fucking phenomenal and I don't just say that. So in that we've got a scoop of protein. We have half a banana, which is 67 grams of banana. We've got a scoop of instant coffee. So I know there's some coffee snobs out there, but trust me, pop it in. Um, and then we've got 150 ml of water and then I can't even remember how much I said of ice, it doesn't matter, but like obviously just go back and watch out for the ratios. That brings the total calories and macros of meal one to 389 calories, which is 53 grams of protein, 18.7 grams of carbs and 9.9 .9 grams of fat. I am going to seriously enjoy this one now. I'm gonna pop on a bit of YouTube, eat this. I'm actually gonna eat it with a spoon and then I'll catch you guys in meal number two. Guys, we're back for meal number two, and meal number two today is gonna to be protein pancakes. Because I'm eating flexibly at the moment, these meals change on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm just trying to hit my calories and trying to hit my macros. But what you're gonna need is some self-raising flour if you wanna try this one. These are phenomenal, by the way. You need some protein powder, some baking powder, some water, some salt, and then some toppings. So very, very easy to make. We're gonna go with 70 grams of self-raising flour, five grams of baking powder, five, 10 grams of protein powder. The one I've got here is from EHP Labs once again, vanilla ice cream flavor, a bit of salt, and then we're literally just gonna mix with water until it makes a consistency, which I'll show you guys now. This is how we get shredded. We eat pancakes every single day, don't we, Keeks? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for these. Donna showed me this one, so. I'll show you everything. I know. <laughs> So mix in and it should look a little bit like that. So kind of runny, kind of thick. And then we're just gonna put it on a hot pan, a little bit of spray oil. So I always recommend like don't use actual oil, just get like a spray light, just cause it's gonna be low calorie as opposed to like pouring oil on the pan. Oil has a stupid amount of calories. So just a little spray and you're gonna pour like so. Second again when it is pancake time. Mm. Make in. Salad. It's no pancakes, is it? It's no pancakes. Ooh. Pancake time. Yeah, they smell so good. Good teeth. Right. That's it. Yeah. You get yourself a good sugar-free syrup, then you're laughing. So this syrup here is just super low cal. We're gonna go for about 40 grams of that. Meal two is served. I won't lie to you guys, <coughs> I have got some chicken on the side as well. Just because my protein targets are high at the minute, so I've got 
75 grams of chicken on this side, but it's things we do as bodybuilders. I'm low at protein here. It's hard to get protein in. I'm in barley, so allow it. If you're at home, just double up on the scoop of protein. But this is meal two. Hey guys, calories and macros for this meal here, including the chicken, including the toppings, and including the banana, is 538 calories, that's 55 grams of protein, 3.1 fat, and 63.4 grams of carbs. I'm gonna tuck into this now. Kiana has got her delicious looking salad. Yeah, it actually looks really good. But You say it help. like it's a surprise. And she's oh. got Nando's Perronese on the scales ready to go as well, Obviously. so. <laughs> Not being nice, but I'm gonna crack on with this, guys. Now, and I'm gonna catch up with you guys in meal number three. Mmm. Health. Leaps on health. <laughs> on appetit. Back for meal number three, and meal number three is gonna be protein oats. Now, being the self proclaimed king of protein oats, I want you to listen carefully because this is how we're gonna run. So, we're gonna go 50 grams of oats with 30 grams of water. This is how you can make your oats proper fluffy in a dieting phase. Now this is gonna be my pre-workout meal as well, guys. Just so you guys know. 50 grams of oats, 300 ml of water, or 300 grams of water. We're just gonna pop that one in the microwave. Popped it in the microwave until it gets hot. Now we've not added protein yet. This is where we're now gonna add a prick scoop of protein powder. If you added it before that, it's literally just gonna go burnt. It will go horrible. So this is where you add the protein. You mix in, chuck it back in the microwave, and then we're gonna keep mixing and checking until it goes to the desired consistency, which I'll show you guys in a minute. So guys, that is meal number three in, and we've got 50 grams of oats, we've got 50 grams of banana, and then we've got one scoop of EHP Labs protein with some cinnamon as well. So that comes to 343 calories, 32.3 grams of protein, 40 grams of fat, and then four points, no, 40 grams of carbs, and 4.7 grams of fat. So this can be my pre-workout meal. I'm about to go hit a leg session at Body Factory, Changu, um, which I may show you a little bit of, but they're very funny about filming in there, so we shall see. But I'm gonna have this one now, gonna head to the gym, hit legs, and then I'll take you guys through my post-workout meal. So guys, meal number four is about to go and we've just trained legs. It was a very half assed leg session, but we're at a place called the dispensary. So in Bali, one of my favorite things is that they have all of these macro tracked, calorie counted restaurants here. And this is one that me and Chris, who's gonna be behind the camera for this one, just discovered the other day. So I'll show you what we're Yes, What's up, guys? Okay, yeah, so I'm the camera guy. Um, <laughs> my name's Chris, I come from Cape Town. Bro. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, what did you get? Okay, guys, so we've got 200 grams of chicken breast, we've got 150 grams of sweet potato. We've got these crispy little egg noodles that apparently are really low cal, And then we've got about 50 grams of roast cauliflower with some tzatziki dip as well. Now this place here, they've got the calories and macros on the menu. So it just means that I can stay on track and go out. But this meal, and I apologize it's a bit loud, comes to 394 calories, 49 protein, eight fat, 31 carb. And it's about eight Australian dollars, so about five US dollars for this meal. So this is why I love barley. We're gonna eat this one now. Chris is still waiting on his food. And then I'll catch up with you guys in meal number five. Yes guys, we're back for meal number five and this is gonna be the final meal of the day. I know I said I was gonna have six meals, but this is a perks of flexible dieting. We can kind of mix and match how we please. And meal number five is gonna be some chicken burgers. So Kiana, thankfully, went out and got me some buns as a surprise, because she knows I like chicken burgers. So we're gonna go for three rolls, which equates about 150 grams of bread roll. Then we've got 150 grams of chicken breast, and then we've got lettuce, cucumber, onion, and beetroot. So we're gonna make these ones up now. These three are all for me. Kiana doesn't get any of these. She's got her own food, which I think can be something completely different. We're gonna make these up now, show you how we make a taste at McDonald's with low-cal ketchup and mustard as well, because that is pretty much like, honestly, these two combined, it makes it taste like a Big Mac, so Cheers thank you later. Girl.
cheeseburger or a Big Mac, like either yeah, or yeah. the same shit, it's like McDonald's sauces. But, and this has no cows, and this has fuck all cows. So that's how we go with that. So let's get to it. Thanks for doing the lettuce. Look how cute that is. From the cutest. You guys need a Kiana, I think. Is this all for me? Yeah. Oh shit. Eat your greens, Beb. Yeah, like a rabbit. This is why you guys need a Kiana, because she's like made all this nice for me. But I don't even have to worry about it. She knows what I like, she knows my macros, she knows my shit. Beetroot, which I used to fucking despise, but I'd never eaten it. And now I absolutely love it. Can't have a burger without beetroot. I actually can't, no. We've got the ketchup. I'm not weighing this, but I know it's probably going to be about 20, 30 grams. It's low cal, so I'll just track about 20, 30 grams. Yeah. So guys, this is meal number five. Like I said, we have three chicken burgers. They are all gonna taste phenomenal. Just take my word for it. In those, we have 150 grams of chicken. So this meal comes to 631 calories, which is 60.5 grams of protein, 78.1 grams of carbs, and 8.3 grams of fat. So it's probably one of my biggest meals of the day. And that brings the total calorie count of the day to 2,356 calories, which is a little bit under for me, but I'm okay with that, like I said just kind of sitting within a bracket at the moment. I know that will see my body weight kind of creep down. And the macro breakdown for the day is 250 grams of protein, 241 grams of carbs, and 34 grams of fat, which once again is quite low for me. But the tuck in to these now, it's my last meal of the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and took something away from it. I'm gonna be doing so many more barley style videos now as well. So I wanna be taking you guys through all different styles of whatever it may be, showing you the cost of living, showing you what we get up to, showing you why you should potentially come here or why not come here. So I've got all these sorts of videos planned, which I'm excited to take you guys through, but we'll cover that in the next one. Hit like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate you all.